things you're most hated for sometimes in the moment are the things you're best remembered for by history. Now at 4.30, reflections from L.A. Mayor Eric Garcetti as he prepares to hand the torch to a new leader. The best job but the toughest job, outgoing L.A. Mayor Eric Garcetti describing his time as the leader of the country's second largest city. KKL9 political reporter Tom Waite met up with the mayor to talk about his achievements, challenges, and his legacy mm -hmm. in his final hours in office. At the end of it, um, it's kind of like a, a, a funeral, bar mitzvah, rebirth, last day of school, all in one. We're LA Mayor Eric Garcetti in his last days in office, reflecting on his two terms, snapping a few selfies with fans and visitors as he made one of his final laps around the city as its leader. The work is never finished. Mayor Garcetti says he's proud of his record, especially when it comes to the expansion of public transit, major renovations and improvements at LAX, and of course, the 2028 Olympics. The Olympics are gonna come here. I did that for my daughter as much as I did it for anything else. Um, knowing that I had that experience, I wanted her generation to. 15 new rail lines and rapid transit lines. That's the most American history that will be built and I'll get to watch them for the next 20 years. And an airport where the seven scariest words in LA, will you pick me up at LAX, will hopefully be a thing of the past because we can take transit there. The risk of this disease has never been higher. It would be in Garcetti's second term that he would face the biggest challenge of his political career, the COVID-19 pandemic. I haven't completely unpacked uh, COVID like most of us because uh, I had to absorb the, the deaths and the pain and the suffering and just it was a wartime mentality, it was wartime leadership. During the pandemic, the city's homeless crisis exploded and Garcetti was criticized for letting it get out of control. I always think with homelessness, we mistake this being about one person. and. You know, whether it was the state that was missing an action or our federal government that hadn't expanded things. I went to try to enlist not only other levels of government, but all Angelinos in recognizing, look, the city and a mayor will never be able to solve homelessness. We don't have a mental health department. We don't do child welfare, the prisons, veterans. All these things actually go through other levels of government. But I ran to that fire to provide leadership, and I'm really optimistic, actually. For Garcetti, his next steps remain in limbo, as the U.S. Senate has yet to confirm his nomination to become the next ambassador to India. The process was stalled after his former top aide was accused of sexual harassment, and Garcetti was accused of ignoring it. Garcetti denies any wrongdoing and believes he will ultimately get the vote. It's been a gift, actually, to see this mayorship to the last day, and I'm really glad, especially when we saw the racist tapes that came out and things, to have not been away. Uh, I get to fulfill my incredible contract to the city of L.A., the people of L.A., for nine and a half years. But I'm very confident and optimistic. Garcetti says once he's out of office, he plans to spend more time with his young daughter, who turns 11 next week. As far as his future career plans, he says he's leaving that open. His advice to Mayor-elect Bass, he says, be yourself. Reporting from the newsroom, I'm Tom Waite, KCAL 9 News.